Heading north out of Page, Arizona, we crossed into Utah and the very first state park was called Lone Rock. We thought we'd stop by and check it out. After all, so many van life and nomads have done YouTube videos about this park. We thought it might be an interesting place to visit. However, as we got closer, we realized that there were several reasons why we would not stay here. And the first was that the sand was very, very deep. We saw several people get stuck on their way down to the shoreline. And the other reason, more importantly, was there were probably as many campers as there were grains of sand on the beach. And we just really wanted a little bit more solitude, so we decided to move on. Yeah, so we headed up the road into Utah and uh, cranked up the music and just enjoyed the miles on our way up to Bryce National Park. So uh, we'll just let you watch the scenery change as we roll along up north into Utah. The bad days are gone, and now I'm on the road. The weather is clear and the sky. As we entered uh, the area of Bryce National Park, little did we know that we would not have an opportunity to actually go into the park, but that story is for a couple minutes further ahead in this video. But we did enjoy the scenery going towards the park, and then it was time to get off the main road and head up into the mountains for a little camping. So we found this beautiful campsite on a ridge miles from anyone. Unfortunately, it was about 23 degrees that night and 50 mile an hour winds. So we decided to head back into warmer areas. that is I started the vehicle in the middle of nowhere uh, the infamous check engine light came on and uh, so I went into a town outside of Bryce <clears throat> they ran a diagnostic on it and told me my intake manifold gasket is leaking which can be it's about a $700 job uh, to fix it 
it could last and it could go at any time uh, we just didn't really I just didn't feel good about the place and and so we're taking a big chance we're gonna uh, drive now uh, back to Vegas which is about three and a half hours I'm keeping the speed limit at about 50 or 55 the whole way and uh, hopefully we'll make it uh, and from there we'll shop around and see if there's a place that's going to give us uh, a better price or at least we have friends in Vegas that uh, uh, that we can stay with if the vehicle needs to stay for more than one day but certainly takes a huge bite out of our budget um, so kind of desperate at this point uh, I think we'll be okay as long as the vehicle makes it the guy seems to think it's kind of 50 50 if it doesn't it just shuts down so um, here we go stay with us Ugh. So this is another part of van life, which is nothing to do with being in the van. It's sitting at a mechanic's St. George uh, repair, um, auto repair in St. George, Utah. We spent the night at the, in a hotel last night, uh, took a much needed shower, then took another one and then another one and just hot water it's really a great thing but now we're just sitting here waiting for the diagnostic to be done on the van pretty much looks like it's the uh intake manifold uh um, blown gasket um probably hopefully it'll be under five or six hundred bucks but uh jackson's very excited <laughs> So we're gonna be here for at least a day or two. If they fix it today, um, then we'll probably stick around to travel around here. Um, if they can't get it fixed by today, we'll probably just have them not start on it yet and park it out here and just spend the night on it. We're really trying to keep expenses down. So uh, one hotel, uh, for one night is going to be enough in our budget. But uh, anyway, we're waiting to hear from the Grim Reaper about what the thing's going to cost. So it's part of life on the road. All right. See you guys soon. See you soon. <laughs> okay. So I guess the dark side of van life or nomadic life is that there's going to be ups and downs, hills and valleys. And we are definitely at a good not a good but a very low period uh, a real tough 10 days um, from a chronic uh, eye and conjunctivitis that was just so awful and then that went away then developed um, sinitis a, a horrible sinus infection and that's been with me for well over a week and it j I just I'm just can't get rid of it and then very very cold uh, close to 21 degrees at night there were 50 mile an hour wind gusts on top of that um, and then the van the check engine light came on in the middle of nowhere uh, outside of Bryce National Park so we drove all the way there and didn't even get to see it uh, we had to get down here to St. George and uh, now we are at uh, St. George Auto Repair seem to be really good guys they're going to try to get to it uh, or they're going to get to it tomorrow morning and they were nice enough uh, since they've torn half of the van apart uh, to get to the engine they took the doghouse off which is between the side seats and the van which gives you access to the engine uh, so they're going to work on this it should take about four or five hours that should give you an idea of labor costs and then parts on top of that so it's not cheap it's really kind of draining the last of our emergency fund dry so hopefully it won't be but a you know it'll be at least two or three months before we have a major setback um and we can accumulate a little bit more funds for that um but this is just the life guys this is it this is uh you see the great stuff that we do and we're having a lot of fun and then there's also this type of stuff that you should just be aware of um marvie and i are still having fun with it we still go out during the day and laugh about stuff and uh figure stuff out we're gonna have some good sandwiches tonight some iced tea uh but it's not pretty spending the night here they're very nice they let us park here because they're going to work on the van in the morning um as you can see they've kind of 
uh, torn a lot of it up here the front engine casings are gone uh, it's called the doghouse and uh, so we have to clean all of this stuff out and I may take the seat out to help them tomorrow just to speed things up because they've got to take the seat off um, anyway that's about it for now uh, hopefully next time you see me I will, will be on the road and, and feeling much better about everything okay bye Okay, so anyway, Jackson, Marvy, and I are on the road again. Uh, we're gonna make this kind of a short video, uh, just because it was so disastrous of an experience with our van. However, we had some really, really good uh, mechanics at St. George Auto Repair. Highly recommend them. Put them, if you're a traveler, in your book, if you need anything done, and you're in St. George, uh, call them up and see if they can schedule in. Uh, Dave and Eric, really good guys. Uh, and all of their work comes with a national warranty for one year. So that's really, really making me feel a lot better. So with that, we're gonna say goodbye for this week and uh, we're on our way back into Nevada. Actually, we just crossed the state line into Nevada and headed into Vegas and that will be next week. So see you guys again.